You see that? That guy with the old lady. That's his mother. They're in there three times a week. Sometimes he comes in by himself just to get us some cheesecake. You know what it would take to get one of my brothers to do something for my mother? She'd have to be held hostage by terrorists. I'm not kidding. Nine brothers, none of them do squat. She has to go to the doctor, I take her. She needs shopping, I do it. She wants to visit somebody, go to a wedding, go to a funeral. It's me, me, and me. I don't mind, but come on. If I had a couple sisters, okay, but it's just me. Plus, because I'm divorced and got no kids, sky's the limit. That asshole I married would have kept it in his pants. I would have already been living upstate 20 years. Instead, I'm still living in my mother's building. What? Please, the wives are as bad as my brother's. Last time we were at Emilio's, I grabbed his wife Lorraine to the side. I wanted to try to get my brother to do the right thing, right? So I say to her, Lorraine, you know, Ma's not doing so good. It would be nice if you guys came by, you know, for a visit. So she says to me, oh, sure. But you know, we've been so busy, you know, it's not like she's on death's door. She'll be around for a long time, and I'm thinking, she's 86. What do you consider a long time? So I try Victoria, Joey's wife, and I'm trying to be honest. I say, Vicky, I'm really getting worn down with my own work, and I'm just having trouble taking care of her. So I thought maybe you could talk to the other girls and come over once in a while to help take care of her. So she goes, Glow, nobody can take care of her like you can. You know what she likes, what she needs. She don't want us there. Besides, I tell you, she looks like she's doing okay. Why don't you just take some vitamins? So I say, Why don't you take this vitamin, my butt up your ass? No. But I wanted to. I was just so pissed. 